Hi, and welcome back. Today, I will discuss with you what a physical interface is and a sub-interface, and how they differ from one another. So, a brief overview of what we're going to talk about it today is what is a physical interface? What is a sub-interface? A physical interface versus a sub-interface. And a real-life example why we use sub-interfaces instead of physical interfaces. So what is this physical interface? Well, as you can see, it is just the physical interface that you can see on your router slash firewall. It's the physical interface that you can plug things into, the cables and such. And usually, and I have never come through that you could specify more than one VLAN per physical interface. So that's that can be limited because let's say in my example with this picture, I have a WAN port right here and I have four other individual ports. Let's say I had five VLANs. I couldn't do that because I can only specify one VLAN per port. So that's where we are going to talk about these sub interfaces, why they're very good. And as I'm mentioning down here for the use case of the physical interface, they are very good for basic network setups and if you don't have too many VLANs in your environment. So, now we have come to the sub-interfaces and why they are very, very good. Well, as I mentioned, on the router I had, I had four ports, but I have five VLANs. And that's where the trouble comes, because if I only have these four ports, or the physical ports, I can only specify one VLAN on one of these ports. And that's going to be a problem, because then I can't have five VLANs. But what a sub-interface does is that it can take one of your physical interfaces and divide that into two or even more logical sub-interfaces on just one physical port. And that just does so you can specify a whole lot of sub-interfaces on one physical interface. Sub-interfaces actually are also are called logical interfaces, if that is something that you could need. And the very nice part about this is that I can use one sub-interface for these multiple VLANs and still do layer three, layer three, sorry, routing among these on just one physical port that I have divided into multiple sub-interfaces. And as I mentioned down here in my use case, we need this when we have less physical interfaces than VLANs. And that's why sub-interfaces has become what it is today. So that's what a sub-interface is. But now let's jump to the real-life example on why sub-interfaces is king. So now we have come to the example with the real-life example with the physical interfaces and the sub-interfaces. So let's say that I get this information from my boss that I would need to have four VLANs in my new environment. And I know my port has already, or my physical ports, has already been used on my router, these three here. Then I can't specify a new VLAN for that, because I don't have more physical ports to specify that one VLAN on. Remember that you can only specify one VLAN on one physical port. So that's where we go to the sub-interfaces. And then just use one physical port to divide that up to multiple sub interfaces so now i can just use this one port and then specify my vlans on this one port here and then i just have to use one port down on my trunk or sorry on my switch as well and just make that a trunk port and then i can now specify likely as nearly as many i would like on this one physical port of sub interfaces and that varies between win vendors how many sub interfaces that you can categorize or configure on one physical interface. So that's where it is very good to have sub interfaces because then you don't have to use up all your physical ports and then you can specify a whole of a lot of VLANs on just one physical interface. So that's how sub interfaces and physical interfaces varies from each other. I hope this video has helped you out and has been informative and has helped you. And I hope to see you in my next video.
Bye.